and you may be standing up for yourself but you feel like you're not getting no justice out of standing up for yourself you may be, be you may be being bullied and feel like you're not getting no justice out of it out of, out of standing up for yourself it's like you know deep down in your soul that you're good like you know you you stood up for yourself you're good but you're still like warring with them right that's what I mean by you got some of you guys could have went through a phase where you were just getting treated like crap because I don't want to say treated like crap as in like you were just treated like crap because you know us chosen ones we don't go like that right we don't just go like nothing so can't nobody just treat us like crap you know we have to obviously allow that to change look up at the sky half y'all listen then go ask why then the same ones going in circles as they live in life things be happening like every second gotta open eyes would you look at me funny if i told you you got nine traveling in time this shit real you gotta open mind every single day your dna is activating mine do you know yourself no you living basically a lie sucks when you find out the real reason why they televise and they be telling you in the movies it ain't no disguise open up that pie and they'll glare get it decalcified see the difference between me and you is I ain't kissing ass I'm the type to tell it to your face without a mask What I got inside me can't be broke, this ain't no glass I'ma keep my magic to myself, you talking trash I see through the bullshit, trust me, I won't let it Yo, what's the word, Ox? How y'all feeling? It's your boy Spirit D signing in with a quick video In this video I want to talk to you guys about intent I want to talk to you guys about why it's good And why it is mandatory As far as uh, law of universe law of spirituality why it is mandatory to keep a good pure heart to be a genuine person and why it is you know mandatory to uh make sure that every action that you take towards one another and not just one another not just one another as you know people but also every action that, and step that you take towards any event or you know uh, anything not just a person right it must be from a intent a pure a pure persp a pure hearted intent right it must be from a good perspective it must be from a genuine pure hearted perspective and intent right now I make this video to tell you guys this because Bro, it's very, very important to do this. You know, um, all around the world, people are always talking about, you know, be, be kind-hearted and all this type of stuff. You know, it's like, obviously, that's what you would think the memo of this, of this world is, is to be kind-hearted, you know, be a good person. You know, spread love. You know, spread love and high vibrations, high vibes, good energy. But, you know, you watching this video, you probably do that. But a lot of people don't do that, though. Believe it or not, not everybody does that. So I'm making this video to really get the message out to say, like, you you have to come. You have to move from a genuine perspective. So if you're like a kidnapper watching this video, if you're a fucking rapist, you know, uh, if you're a person that's... If you can even admit that you're evil, right? But if you watching this video and you like, you just like, you, you be feeling like I, be, I just be talking a whole bunch of baloney and bullshit. This message is for you, bro. I'm trying to let you know, bro, like, if you actually care about your shit that you're going through in life, your three circumstances and all that shit, to an extent, because you're not really supposed to care. But if you do care, like, if you care about where you're living at, if you care about how you eat, and if you care about your health and all that type of ish, then you want to put out good intent and good pure-hearted energy. Because if you don't, my nigga, I'm trying to tell you, karma is not no game. Karma is not no game. So, you know, I just want to make this... This is just like a little quick message. I want to make this video for somebody real quick, let y'all know, like... The energy you give out, it's going to come back, bro, even if it's five years later, bro. Like, like I can't make this up, and I'm not going to make this up. You know? Even if it's five years later, the energy that you give out, it's going to come back to you. So... You could have, you could have been in a situation, bro, where you were in a phase where everybody treated you like straight crap, like garbage, bro, garbage.
you could have been in a situation where everybody treated you like straight garbage, right? But through that phase, it could have been a year phase, a two-year phase, a seven-month phase, whatever. Through that phase, or it could have been a day of you staying over somebody's house for the night or something. Whatever the case may be, right? End of the day, end of the day, if you stay pure-hearted and genuine, genuine intended through that, through that, through that, if you stay pure-hearted and genuine intended through that phase, through that scenery that you went through, through that phase, through that scenery that you went through of, you know, um, of people treating you like crap, treating you like less, like, like, like you're not worth anything, treating you, belittling you, making you feel like you're not, you're not meant to be in the skin that you're in. If you have been around these type of people or been in this type of circumstance, but you always kept a good heart, but you still kept seeing your 3D negative, negative, negative. I feel you kept feeling terrible, right? Understand. In that present moment of time, that that person was treating you like crap, understand that they're feeling good. They're being blessed at the moment. You're, you're not doing anything. You know, you're not. You, and I'm not talking about situations where someone's really bullying you and you're not standing up for yourself. Y'all know how I rock, bro. If, if, if you're being bullied or something like that, y'all already know we don't F with the narcs. We, we, demon time. But we're not talking about that. Right? Because if you guys know, then you guys know, guys. We're pure hearted beings. So even though. So even though, you know, we we are ready to slay demons and this and that, at the end of the day, we also love one another. So, you know, when we walk out in public or if we go see if, if we have a family relative that's a demon, we're not going to just be like, oh, you're a demon. So screw you. I mean, we're going to we're going to distance ourselves from you. But we're not just going to be like, oh, you're a demon, so screw you, F you, you look like shit, you're ugly, you stink. Like, we're not, we're not rude like that. We're not mean like that, right? We're not, that, we're not those type of beings. So my point is, is when you're in a situation like that, though, where that demon may, may be coming off very rude to you and this and that to you, and you may be standing up for yourself, but you feel like you're not getting no justice out of standing up for yourself. You may be, be you may be being bullied and feel like you're not getting no justice out of it, out of, out of standing up for yourself. It's like you know deep down in your soul that you're good. Like you know you you stood up for yourself. You're good, but you're still like warring with them, right? That's what I mean by you got some of you guys could have went through a phase where you were just getting treated like crap. Cause I don't want to say treated like crap as in like. You were just treated like crap because you know us chosen ones, we don't go like that. Right? We don't just go like nothing. So can't nobody just treat us like crap. You know, we have to obviously allow that. But some of you guys may have been in a circumstance where you were in a household or da-da-da-da. You know, you just at the time, you just had to depend on these folks that were treating you like crap. Or that were being rude and had rude energy. And at the time, you, were, you may have not been getting no type of justice whatsoever. But understand that justice always comes back around the corner. You could have a family member. You could have a family member that kicked you out. You could have a family member that, that called you out your name. You could have a family member that lied on your name. You could have a family member that called you out your name with no evidence. You could have a family member that lied on your name, right? And got you into a, a, a hole. Or, or just got a lot of people, got a lot of people that look at you a type of way due to the fact that that person spoke out on you, right? But a year later comes around the corner and that person may need you, right? That, that person that did all that stuff to you may need you, like literally need you. You may be right in the position that, that of, of the circumstance that that person needs for you to do for them. And you're that spot on guy or, or female. Right, they're gonna need you. You're, we're in the season where, you know, all the people and, and things that 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 
that that that that treated you unfairly justice is being served all right so i don't want to make this video too long man i already know i was talking in circles but although i was talking in circles at least information and real knowledge was being spoke through this video so whoever wants to watch the video for just watching it that's wonderful if you click clicked off the video because the title did not match up with my words that's i you know understandable like i said you know i, I was talking in circles on this video but hey I'm, I'm a channeler so you know it's nine minutes in and i'm still talking even though it may not be a, about a specific topic at least i'm talking some real knowledge and giving you guys some game you still can learn something from this video all right so that all being said i'm gonna catch you on the next one though it's your boy spirit d signing out one love hey listen man no no woman man and child eternal light each one reach run i see you all right this is how we grow and i say one love to y'all but like kalai said this ain't no one love this a whole love all right i'm gonna catch you on the next video i'm gone love <laughs>